am blessed to have an opportunity. Uh, well, actually, I should I should start off correctly initially. This is Kindred. You are watching Jam the Video right here on jamthehype.com. Shout out to my homie, Chris Chicago. Yes, um, yes. You guys need to, on your iPad or on your iPad mini or, or on your, your cell phone, you guys need to get the Jam the Hype app. It's 99 cent. That is one-fourth of a Starbucks coffee <laughs> so you don't even have to give up your starbucks all you have to do is change your venti to a tall and uh grab that jam the hype app so that you can uh you can check out all the really dope things that they have going on on there there's there's like you know what go get it i'm not even gonna tell you mm -hmm. i have the opportunity i am blessed i'm just talking and it's not even showing my face i am blessed <laughs> to have the opportunity to interview, to sit down with somebody that um, is an amazing MC, is an incredible man of God, uh, you know, like let his wife tell it, is an awesome husband. She would say that, right, Dima? Definitely. Okay. Is an awesome <laughs> husband, an if incredible you start, if you father. Speaking, if you start speaking lies, I'll stop you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here with my homie, uh, uh, Donnie. Yes. Who is making all underestimators believers. Definitely. And my daddy, <laughs> D-Mob, y'all. What's up, D-Mob? What's up, man? Thanks for the uh, for the opportunity and uh, just being obedient to the, to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you yourself. Um, always been my dude. Always had my back. Um, you know, our relationship has grown in a peculiar way. You know, even though, and I mean that, like, even though we don't talk on the phone every day or, you know, but every time we see each other, you know, it's always love and you, you've, you have always had the utmost respect, you know what I'm saying? And, and respect, you know, respect for me and my ministry. So I really, I really appreciate that, man. It's, it's not too many times you come across people who, who, who really respect you for a person first and then respects your craft, you know what I mean? Who, who genuinely, genuinely loves you and appreciates you as a person, you know what I mean? So I, I appreciate you. Oh man, it's, it's sincere, man. Like I had the opportunity to interview what at the time was, uh, well I say at the time, like you're not anymore, which at the time was, was uh, one of my favorite MCs um, mm -hmm. with, with one of the most unique styles out there. Yeah. Um, what I love about that is, you know, there's a lot of MCs out there. Like Lecrae is doing his thing. He's got a Grammy. Yeah. You know, yeah. shout out to Crazy for for. Uh, uh, hey, can hey, you can you can hey, you can say whatever you want <laughs> about Lecrae. You know what I'm saying? Like, Muzz, I mean, at the end of the day, you can be mad, you can be happy. I, I pray that I pray that we we find it in ourselves to be happy. Because when you know, God uses when God somebody, somebody, there's really nothing no one can do about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and opinions don't matter. You know what I mean? And I just, I just continue to pray for him, man. And he continues to represent the, the father well, represents the genre well. He continues to show love to other people and, you know, try to help other people on his way up. You know what I'm saying? And, and as long as he continue to do that, I mean, he'll, he'll continue to go down as, as one of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? And I believe Absolutely. I believe Absolutely. It's a... I mentioned him because, you know, when you when you attain that, the reality in the industry is that you're going to get some people that will start to fashion their their uh, sound after yep. your style. Definitely. And a lot of people are getting away with it. I'm not making it good or bad. Mm -hmm. um, but if you try and sound like D-Mob, <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> you you need to you can't, you can't pull that off. I, I had the opportunity to, to interview D Mob. What was it about three years ago? Two or two or three two yeah about three two or three years ago. It had, to be, it had to be. And uh, after the interview, I think we touched base by phone and just had an incredible conversation. And and like I've said this to you before, I've God has blessed me to let one of my favorite rappers end up being. Uh, one of my closest friends from 2,000 miles away. He is in OH10, y'all. Yes, um, he is in, in Buckeye country. Uh, well, not yeah. quite Buckeye country. He's in the yeah. Natty. Um, yeah. So I want, I want to dive in. Like, we're we, we doing, doing what you and I do, and we got some people watching. So let's, let's dive in. Um, yeah. 
I do want to talk about the project that you have coming. Okay. But before I do that, I want to do something that I think uh, is amazing and it's probably going to have people hunting for the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. You preached a sermon. Um, anyone that has not seen DMOB Live, please, please, please make it a point to find out when he's going to be in your area and go check him out. And if he's not coming to your area, then hit up my homegirl Amber over at OneRouteEntertainment.com. Yeah. And you need to bring D-Mob out. Um, it's simple explanation of his show. He's somebody that, that in between his songs, he has to reel himself back in and go on to the next song. The brother really does um, open up himself for God to use him to, uh, to promote the kingdom. Like... It's it's an amazing experience to watch the Holy Spirit move when D-Mob's on stage. He has this video where he's sharing that that really blessed and encouraged me, where he's talking about um, if you want to know God as a healer, you have to be sick. If you want to know God as a provider, you got to be you have to go through being broke, etc. Yeah. Why don't you talk about we we were talking about that earlier, and I wanted to make sure we captured that um, in the interview. Why don't you expound on that a little bit, man? Yeah, um, you know, that just, that that comes from a place, you know, like we were saying before, experience, you know, just experiencing hard times, experiencing, um, you know, not having any money in the, in the account, um, going through uh, sickness in my body, you know, um, going through times where no one else, you know, was able to, to do anything. And so... You know, I started thinking like, man, man, it's so crazy how we pray to know God in his vastness, you know, in, in his totality. Like, we want to know all of him. You know, we pray for that. We pray, you know, and it comes from a simple prayer, like, Lord, I want to be like you. <laughs> you know, and, and, and we can't be like someone we don't know. So, thus, we're asking to know him, you know, in his, in his fullness. And so... When I was, you when know, was one time I was, you know, know going through, through a, a rough period in my life, in my life um, um, financially, financially. And, uh, and uh, you know, I had, you know, to, I had, I had to, to, I had to realize that, that man, I asked, I asked to know you as a provider, whether I mentioned it that way or not, I still asked to know you as a provider. And so the Holy Spirit began to tell me, you know, and this is after... I'm in the situation, I'm in situation and, I'm, and I start to complain start about, complain about it. It. Right. right? Start to, start to, you know, doubt you starts know, doubt to come starts in and tries to play with my mind. And, and you know, know, if God is God, why, why doesn't God he just, just, boom, send you send all you the money you need to pay all your pay bills? And why don't he just do that? You know, you know, and the Holy Spirit told me, he said, you know, to know God as a provider, then you have to be in a position where you can providing for me. And I was just like, oh my goodness. And so I was able to apply that when I had, you know, when I had to go to the hospital for my body, you know, just dealing with this, this skin issue. Um, I, I have a skin issue called atopic dermatitis. And I just actually came back from the hospital uh, four days ago. I had to get two shots. Um, and now I'm on this pill, like that I have to take weekly, I think. I think I'm gonna start taking it weekly. I have a doctor's appointment in the morning, but, uh, but it cleared me right up, so you can't fail. I mean, the, 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 the shots work wonderfully, praise the Lord. But uh, I had to, I had to um, realize that, hey, I'm sick, but this is the only way I'll be able to know God as a healer. Is if I'm if it, is if I'm sick and and, and and sure I can I can I can hear people's testimonies of how they were sick and you know but I would I would know God to be a healer or a provider or a way maker or you know a miracle worker for somebody else and not myself. You know, so if I'm trying to help somebody else or educate somebody else or encourage somebody else, it's one thing to say, yeah, I heard God was a healer. You know, he healed old girl or he healed old boy or he brought them out. But it's a different effect when you say he did that for me personally. The testimony is just a little bit stronger. So, you know, it's important to, to remember that, man, to remember um, that you ask to know God in that way. <laughs> You know, you ask to know him as a miracle worker. You know, people to get up and tell their testimonies, man, God worked a miracle. He did this and this. And you be sitting back like, what? Dang, I want to, I want something like that. 
but then you don't realize what you just asked for. You you know what I'm saying? It looks good. It looks good afterward. You know what I mean? Yep. After the, when they tell her the testimony, yep. that part looks good, but you don't know what they went through to you know to deliver that testimony. So you know, just just remember what we pray for and trust God. You know, it's silly to. <clears throat> So for one, excuse me, get in a, in a financial bind or to get sickness in your body when for one, you pray for that, right? But for two, it's thing that if we have a hard time looking back over our life and remembering that he brought us out of everything else, even when we wasn't his children. And it's like, man, if he delivered me, if he protected me, if he provided for me, if he sheltered me, if he clothed me when I hated him, when I was his I was enemy, his how much more will he do that for me now that I'm his child and I love him? Everything is the exact extreme opposite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, what keeps me going is just remembering that he didn't create me to not take care of me. Ain't that the truth, man? Like, God is, God is, uh, I, I'm not even going to expound or attempt to follow that because <laughs> we won't even get to the album, man. We'll just be. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know how we, you and me do, man. We get stuck talking about God and it's just like, man, yeah. I love it. Um, You have a new project coming. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. I'm excited because like I said, you're one of my favorite rappers. You're my Amen. favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Amen. I, <laughs> I talk to rappers. Uh, <laughs> Um, you have a project coming, man. Uh, yeah. What is the name of it? What's the name of your, 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 new, uh, your new joint about to drop? It's called The Missing Piece. And the Missing spelled, Piece. Yeah, it's spelled P-E-A-C-E. And I, I've, I know that because I promoted <laughs> it and I misspelled it. <laughs> because of the little, the little hiccup, the little error. <laughs> I sure did. And, was, and right behind it typed, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, right. Now, so why don't you talk good, about man. that, man? P, the missing piece, P E A C E. Yeah. Why don't you talk about uh, how how uh, God dropped that in your spirit, man? Where where did that come from? I think it just come from a place of of uh, recognizing what the world is is lacking. You know what believers are lacking, what unbelievers are lacking. Um. um and you know we we have you know he says that he leaves us this peace <laughs> you know and sometimes somebody can leave you something you know I've left out plenty of times when my wife said yo I left you a sandwich on the stove you know before you go snatch that so you won't be hungry when you when you you know hit the road and so I'm like okay you know I appreciate it thank you and I tell her thank you and everything and I hit the road and I don't take the sandwich <laughs> you know what I'm saying and this is like. Now I'm on the road hungry. I got to pull over. I got to spend money to buy me something to eat when all of that could have been avoided if I would have took what she left me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, he leaves us peace, but sometimes we have a hard time accepting it or understanding what it really is. And so that's what the album title came from. And it's, it's just like, man, as I look around, God is the missing piece. In the world, he's the missing piece sometimes in our life when we stress and he's going through, you know, we don't recall how good God is. We can't, you know, um, see the blessings of the Lord. We really, you know, we have a hard time. The, 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 the trials and the tribulations are clouding our vision so much. It's hard to see, you know, and it's hard to um, accept that we do have peace in the midst of the storm. So, you know, hopefully this album will deliver the missing piece to someone, you know, one a song, something I say, something uh, one of the feature artists say will uh, remind believers to remember God and to have unbelievers realize that they need God, which is the peace in their life. You know, and I kind of describe it as a puzzle. Uh, if you look at this puzzle, you have all of, you know, the whole puzzle is put together. Great. You know, it looks awesome. And you have one piece missing. You wouldn't frame that 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 puzzle, that jigsaw puzzle, and put it up in your living room or in your foyer so everybody can see when they first come in, because it, it's an eyesore. It doesn't look right having that piece. But sometimes that's how we live our life. We have this whole, this whole everything put together. We got the money, car, we have all this stuff, but we don't realize it's that piece missing. You know, right, right. That's that's will fill that void. Not 
not the album itself, but hopefully the album will will, will project the missing piece, which is God, and have us to be reminded of who we need in our life. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, so let me ask you this. So it, it, it sounds like the way that I know you from conversation that every album that you've done is mm-hmm. not just about, oh, let me write these dope lyrics. Let me, let me figure out how I can, how I can le, 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 le. Mm-hmm. That was my D-Mob impression. Thank you <laughs> yeah, very much. Pretty, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was pretty good. <laughs> um, that you really tap in, like, like, and I, I'll be corny to make the point. Like, you really get into that prayer closet and like, okay, God, what, what is it that you want me to communicate through this gift that you've given me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knowing that about you, what makes this album different than any previous album or feature, anything that you've done previously? What makes this one like that one? What makes The Missing Piece that album? I think uh, it's a, a plethora of things. I think it's the topics. You know, the topics that I'm, that I'm, that I'm talking about. Um, I, I, I know it's the production, which makes the album um, a little bit better than the last album, the mixing, the mass, the, the quality of it uh, that I that I put into this creating this project. Um, definitely, definitely prayer and being and being led by God on the topics. Um, you know, that's I can say that's a given, but sometimes it's not a given. Some people, uh, you know, they just write what they think they should write, or you know. But I try to be led, and I try to be mindful to invite God in on my sessions and pray before I record and stuff like that. Um, just so I just so I know that. <clears throat> See, it's important for me to do that because you know it's easy to get caught up in the hype and it's easy to get caught up in numbers and sales and things of that nature, right? You know, like when the album first comes out, where, where what it does on the charts or uh, how many sales you have overall. But what keeps me not worried about that and not um, being focused on that solely, even though you know it is a concern, you want to see how good you're doing, where you're reaching people, uh, where, where places you're reaching people. But what keeps me not focused on that and content, whether I go number one on iTunes or whether I never chart, is that I know that I've invited God in my sessions. I know that I've invited him, you know, in my in my in my time of writing. And so whatever happens, I can rest assured that it's his will. You know what I mean? And I can be happy about whatever it does and whoever it reaches. I'm not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Truth made a song, Jesus is for everybody. I'm not, my music is not for everybody and I understand that. And so that's why I don't have a a problem supporting other artists, retweeting other artists' uh, music and, you know, posting up blogs about other artists' songs because I know I'm not for everybody. And if I don't get you prayerfully, you know, one of my other brothers or sisters in the Lord who does it can reach you, you know, because that's the main goal. Praise God. That's awesome, man. Um, Okay. 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 I'm just saying. I feel you. I got an hour, man. You know me. I can't grow that. I can't grow that. Oh, no, I didn't even mean it. (laughs) (laughs) I can't grow that beard. You know what I'm saying? This is is what you would look like, D-Mob, if you had a beard. This is my... These are my D-Mob, uh, this is my, I went by the store and I got my D-Mob uh, disguise. <laughs> so, so I look like, I look like you now. Man, you are crazy. Hair, but I can do the head, you know. You can do the head right in the, in the hand motion, you know, you got to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't That's even wild. like that. What what my struggle is, man, is is I got an hour, bro. Like, Oh, yeah. We're going to fill that up. That ain't, that ain't nothing. We're going we gonna to fill that up. That ain't nothing. But I got to. I got to pick and choose, man. Like, um, let me ask you this. It's it. I know that you have touched very briefly on your history because there's a lot of new D mob fans, like some people that, that just know you from like a couple of albums and they don't know about video games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So why don't you share, you know, just kind of run through 
bounce through some some uh, bullet points along the path of of you know where you are now as D Mob. Hmm. Man, well, it's it's it starts a long time ago, <laughs> and uh, you know I've, I've been very blessed to to have the success that I, I do have in this industry as long as I've been doing it. Um, you know, years ago, man, uh, my man Bootsy Collins called me up. Um, I seen him at an event, and uh, let me tell you about this event real quick. The event, the the sound system. Okay, first of all, it was in the hood, and and when I say the hood, I'm talking about. I'm talking about, bro, I don't even know why we was, I know why we was out doing it, but I don't even know why they chose this location to set up a concert, bro. It was like, we was in the hood. We was in the Fay Apartments in Cincinnati. So we, and they was honoring Bootsy Collins. I'm like, y'all couldn't pick a better place to honor this guy, but he wanted to be there. He invited my dad out and my dad, you know, wanted me to come with him to do a couple songs. So I did one song. I was supposed to do like three songs. I did the first song and the setup was they had like some speakers stacked up on top of each other, which made them sound really muffled. And then it was running the CD from the old PlayStation. <laughs> yep. So, so, from, so from the white PlayStation with the two buttons on the side and you push one to eject and one to turn it on. And so, so, the so sound, it was a prophetic experience, basically, which man, that'll make sense in a second. Listen, <laughs> the sound was so bad that I opted to do all my other songs a cappella. I could not go on with the sound like that. I just, I, I could barely hear it. It was, man, it was, it was a disaster. So anyway, after I do my set, I think I did like one more song a cappella because I was like, I told my dad, like, I can't, I can't take it. I can't do this. It's your turn. Like, <laughs> you go up. And I want to see you perform on this stuff. So anyway, after it was over, Lucy Collins, he, he came to me and, he, you know, he spoke with me briefly and um, exchanged numbers. I couldn't even believe he took my number or, you know, and I took his number. And then he hit me up one day and he was like, uh, you know, I want you to come out to my studio, to his house. And I was like, what? You want me to come where? <laughs> you know, and so, I, you know, make a long story short, man, I, you know, we, we locked down a date or whatever. And I went out there and met with him and we talked. We talked about God for like an hour before we even recorded any music. It was crazy. Like, I didn't even know how how, how deep he was into, into Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So it was, that was really refreshing to work with somebody who, who knows the Lord. You know what I mean? So uh, he had this PlayStation game. Um, I think it was NBA Jam was the first one. And um, man, he told you know he asked me did I want to write something to it? I wrote something to it. And before you know it, I was on three other I think three other PlayStation games. After that, I was on ATV three, um, MLB two thousand five, and Gran Turismo four. And so if you listen so to those, you'll, you'll know, you know my voice, you'll know it's me. But Gran Turismo 4, I'm actually in the credits, like in the booklet. You'll see my my government name, you know, parentheses, D Mob. So I was just like, I was like, wow, you know, God opened up the and, opportunity. And, and for those that don't play video games, if it was small, that would be big. Like that's yeah. huge. Gran Turismo, Yeah, that's huge. That's yeah, huge. yeah. It was a blessing, man. And so I, I tip my hat off to Boosie. You know, he, he does a lot, man, as far as the community and reaching back to people and um and giving them an opportunity. So I'm very I'm you know, I'm very thankful for that, man. But yeah, I got a I got I'm working on my this will be my sixth solo album. So I've been I've been I've been doing it for a little while. So just trying to stay consistent, man. And uh moving when I, I believe it's time for me to for me to work on an album, you know, not trying to break any records or anything like that, but just, but just doing it, doing it when I, when I believe it's time for one. I got you. I got you. You, um, you got, you got quite a list of features. Did, 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 uh, did your presentation drop? The feature presentation? Yes. Which one? Now I did one of those. One. Okay. Yes. That's, yes. See, that's. I was working on another one. I was working on another. I could probably put out five of them. Uh, okay. the The reason that <laughs> the reason that question came out that way, you guys, is like like we mentioned at the beginning. Um, D Mob is is a really good friend of mine. So there's stuff that I've been blessed to hear 
don't email me and ask me to send you the MP3 because that's my friend and I'm not going to do him like that. And I don't, and there's stuff that, that be, you know, in, in being involved in radio, I, I'll send him a text message. Hey man, real quick, did this song drop yet? And he's like, no, nah. I'm like, Oh man, I want to play it. You know? So, um, so that's why I asked that. But, but there's, he has a project out called a uh, feature presentation that you need to check out. That's an amazing collection of, songs that he's done with other artists yeah. um and i think what's awesome about that is there's going to be some artists on that project that you'll hear that, that will surprise you on their talent um yeah so yeah you know shout out to to the list <clears throat> of artists that that are on that um how many tracks are going to be on the album it's going to be between 14 and 15. 14 and 15 okay and Strong. i refuse to allow you to talk about the features. Right. Because, <laughs> because they are not my favorite Christian rapper. Okay. D-Mob okay. is my favorite Christian rapper. So we're going to talk. All, There's some other it's people. It's all about me. It's all about me. <laughs> so <laughs> the missing piece starring Jesus Christ. There it is. Co-hosted by D-Mob. There it is. And some other cats that know how to rap. There right, we go. Right, right. And maybe a singer or two. <laughs> and maybe and maybe a singer or two. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't so, talk yeah. about the single that I released. Ah, yes, we could do that. What's uh, the name of the single? Uh the single <laughs> is called How Long, which is on iTunes right now, featuring um, one of the dopest artists uh, out right now, in my opinion. And that's my my brother from another mother, B. Rife. Um, he's, he's, he kind of, man, let me, and it was crazy is I sent him the track and I said, yo, B, I have this track. Um, it's crazy. I only bought it because I bought it in faith. I bought it from Tone Jones, believing that B. Wright would be on it. I really didn't even know B. Wright, right? But I met him through K9. You actually said that? <laughs> yes. yes. I, I didn't even really know I bought it. And I was like, man this sound like a B. Wright track. Like, and I really love dude's ministry, you know, his talent, blah, blah, blah. So I said, man, if I buy this track, Lord, I'm going to need, I'm going to need some type of connection. I'm going to need him to get on here. So I bought it, sent it to him. He loved it. I told him all I needed was a hook. I said, just shoot me a hook and maybe the bridge, the bridge part. And this joker sent me the beat back. Yes. He sent, he sent me the beat back with, with, a verse on it, the hook, and the bridge. And I'm like, well, we just might as well say be right featuring be mob. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. like, he took over the whole song. But the thing was, man. It like like all you had to do was go, right? Uh-huh. Right. And yeah. Leah, right. Introduce Jesus him. Christ. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this, yo, this that new D mob featuring be right. Go ahead, be right. Just take over the song. I'll just do the intro for him. But yeah, man, that brother, he sent back, you know what I'm saying, sent back the, the song, man, and I was just blown away. And because I loved it so much, you know, I just kept his verse. I think he added, you know, um, what was needed to that song. And, you know, um, I, I love it, man. It's, it's, it's probably one of my favorite songs that's going to be on the album still. You know, it, I think it was a good first choice for a single, and people received it really well. So go, if you haven't heard it, go check it out. Go buy it. It's on iTunes right now. Be my feature. Be right. How long? It's a dope message. That song is really convicting, but not finger pointing, convicting, but just like raising awareness um, about what we need to be doing as believers. So. Yeah, I think it's a really dope song. Let me let me ask you this. We we touched briefly on uh I mentioned Lecrae. Yeah. And yeah. you know, shout out to the homie for the for the Grammy, like for real. Yeah. That's ginormous. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> and and for all the people that you know me, D Mob, like I, I push the line and occasionally I have to apologize because I accidentally crossed the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's it's who I am. Um, Amen. Amen. those that are, that are attacking D or D mob that are attacking Lecrae for receiving a Grammy. Um, I got a whole auditorium of seats for you to plant your buddy and go sit down. Like he, he getting attacked for it. 
Oh yeah, man. There's some people that are that are. I haven't even, I haven't even seen that. There's some people on the internet that are, you know, saying that that he's not a that is not a that he's not sold out anymore. Like going back to his first album and real talk and sold out. That it's not about the kingdom anymore. That it's about awards. And I firmly believe that. And actually, you know what? It's not what I believe. The word says that if you place God first, that He'll give you favor amongst men. <clears throat> Sure. sure. So my boy is just experiencing favor. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah, that's all it is. Um, you know, what, what are your thoughts? Um, if you can expound on that, what are your thoughts on, on how uh, Christian artists are navigating mainstream music? Just as a general question and just however God, you know, guides you to answer that. What are your thoughts on how Christian artists are navigating mainstream music? I think it's, uh, man, for one, I think it's a dope opportunity to be in that vicinity, you know, to be in that arena with, in the mainstream, you know, to be face to face with, um, you know, David Banner, to be able to have him at his video shoot. I mean, you never, the thing, the thing about me is, is man, you never know, like, if you, if you ever listen to my music, one thing I'll never do, I'll generalize artists, artists like, like uh, but i won't I mention won't any mention names per se because, because i only feel only like and it's just me i'm not saying it's wrong to do it but this is but just this my is fear that i'll be that speaking bad about, bad about somebody, somebody and they might and be they going might home be and home crying on their knees every, every night, night to get right with the lord you know and so i you know i don't know i just i don't think it's i don't know i just I think, God, I think gives God gives people, people songs, songs to write, to write you, know, and, you know, and go for, go for it. it. You know, you as, know as, as, as for me, as for me I think it's I an think awesome, awesome opportunity, opportunity to be in those, those arenas. arenas. I mean, he was the first artist to be on the BET Stifer. I mean, because what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to buy his album. They're going to go back to his website and see that he's all about he's Jesus. All about they're going to meet him in person. He's not going to drink. He's not going to smoke. He's not going to cuss somebody out. And they're going to be like. It's something, it's something different. different. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? His, lifestyle his lifestyle is what speaks, is what the, speaks most. the most. And even if even if we make a song that's not about Jesus directly, if I make a song about football, if I make a song about having a good day at the park, is that is that wrong to put that on my album as a believer? You know what I'm saying? I mean, because here's the thing. We have conversations that are not directly about Jesus. We talk about clothes. We talk about, you know, uh, the football game. We talk about, so we can talk about it, but we can't write a song about it. You know, and it's just like, you can't have that double standard. Either you're going to talk everything to come out your mouth better be about Jesus. If it ain't, you sitting. Or, you know, you can't, you can't categorize people's music. You know, he made church clothes. And it wasn't so churchy. It wasn't so Jesus, 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 you know. And for what I see, it was accepted it really well, you know, but of course you still have your people who, oh, why did he do that? Or why did he, he's not talking about Jesus no more. And it's like, do you talk about Jesus every day, all day, using the bathroom, taking a shower? It's about Jesus. Every time you, it's going to be how you ask you, how you doing? Oh, well, let me first tell you about Jesus before we get into a conversation about how my day, I mean, come on, people. Like, I think, I think it comes from envy. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's yeah, just it definitely, that. definitely needs to be a heart check in those situations. Yeah. And I don't mean Lecrae's heart. I mean, right. your heart, right. like right. you can't, you know, it, I, I, I think, and the thing, the, the thing that saddens me <laughs> is if you believe that somebody is wrong in the body, in the body, who's claiming to be your brother or your sister in the Lord, First, go to them in love and let them know your issue. Just try it and try it several times. Because take into account his status. Take into account not only his status, anybody. Take into account they're getting a thousand emails a day. Take into account, so don't be impatient. You know, hit them on Twitter. Yo, I got an issue. I want to, I want, you know, and he's not going to be able to talk to every single person. You know what I'm saying? But, but. At least, at least, if you if you can't, if you get, in you can't get in contact with him, with him before, before you speak, you speak over, anybody, over anybody, not just him, not anybody, just him anybody, anybody. How about how praying about for him continually, continually first? first? And let's see yeah, if that's the Bible. Prayer, let's see if the prayer, prayer helps prayer change. Changes. 
which which the Bible says that prayer is the key. Prayer changes. I'm not talking bad bad about somebody. Not because what I would hate is for somebody who just got saved or you know somebody who who you know who's on the outside looking in to come and look at these message boards and or to see these comments and be like, wow, and they all believers talking about believers like that. I'm good. I don't even want to be sick. I deal with that over here. So. Well, I come over there and I post and I think everybody supposed to be cool and Moses is stabbing me, stabbing me in my back, just like the world. So we we can't have that reputation. The Bible the Bible says the Bible says that they, meaning non believers, will know us, meaning believers, by how we love one another. That's right. Not by how we love them. Right. But how we love each other. Amen. So they're watching us. They so are. when you when you hit the keyboards and you banging about uh D Mob ain't saved, he you know, I just played a video game and, and he got lyrics on there. Right. What? <laughs> you know, um I don't know, man. It 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 concerns me. And then it's funny because I have to be cautious of the double standard myself. Oh man. And that when I see those conversations. I roll up my sleeves and I'm ready to hit the keyboard on Lecrae's behalf. Like, yeah, what right. about what about you smoking weed? What about you sleep? You married? Oh, wasn't you just in the bed with your girlfriend last night? Right. So, right. so you ain't right. saved either, huh? You know what I'm saying? And then I realized that it's not our battle. I can't. <laughs> yeah, for real. I got. I have to follow the advice and pray. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so. People gonna it's, be it's, people, man. You know what I'm saying? People, people going, people going judge other people. You know what I'm saying? And and you know, I, I pray it comes to an end soon, man. So we so so believers can see how we're supposed to be, how Jesus really behaved here on earth. You know, we're supposed to be an example. Uh, and there's no way we're being an example by tearing each other uh, each other down. And you know what? I, you know, somebody asked for my opinion. How, how's this song? You know, how you feel about this song? If I don't like the song, if I'm gonna find things that's wrong with the song that I don't like, and I know they ask they ask my opinion. But if I don't like the song, I'm gonna try my best to say, but here's what you should do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the the mix the mix is the mix is bad. But holler at um, wit music. Who holler at? You know, holler yeah. at some of these people. Um, who 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 mix? Who, you know myself. Whoever holler at some some dope engine. I know some dope engineers. Send your stuff to them. You know what I'm saying? And they can help build your quality up. Like, and I hate to see people. And I hate to not only people, but I hate to see other believe. It's just really. I expect that from the unbelievers to beat us down. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're programmed to do that anyway. The world is pro is set up to to build us to, to to break us down. But it just really bothers me, man, to to no end when I see other believers doing that to another believer. It's like, do you realize at the end of the day that's your brother? You know what I'm saying? Or that's your sister? Like, and that's how you that's how you feel, whether you know him or not. We're in the same the family. Same and it seems like people like don't people get that, you know, and, and yeah. we'll mash each other and we'll talk about each other's music, but we don't offer not one advice. You know, the, the beat was trash, but go, but, but man, get with, get with, get with Tone Jones, get with Tony Stone, you know what I'm saying? Get with, get with, uh, with get with, get with these other producers, man. And I guarantee you, they'll give you some production that a compliment is no help. It's just like smack on the ground and I ain't helping you get back up. And how does that look, how does that look to God? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know, I know, I know that the father is just like, wow, y'all really are cool to each other. You know what I'm saying? For some people who got to come up here and see each other again anyway, then when you get up here, is it going to be that way? Or are you going gonna to still criticize up here too? It's like, yeah, I'm, just, it's like, I'm a straight, each other, man. it's like, I'm a straight, put my foot on your neck and right. you better not have nothing to say about it. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, shouts out to the great man, um, the whole Reach team. You know whether you agree with the, the the strategy, the strategic moves he's doing or not. If you don't like it, continue to lift him up in prayer. That's all I can say. If it's, if it's something that I've done, um, come to me first. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to straighten it out. If not, if, it, if, I, if I'm you know kind of tough to get in contact with because I have a wife and four children and I have you know I have so many things going on. Keep me in prayer, and I guarantee you the Lord will move. The Spirit will move. You know what I'm saying? If I'm wrong, He'll convict me. Right. You know? Right. We need to do that more. We need to pray for each other more, man. 
so so let me uh let me do something real quick um we we still got some time left um okay. what you know about that tracks christ and videotape homie oh my goodness what i know about it <laughs> <laughs> hey don't don't get me started on spec please please don't get me started on that brother you bad God, what how we go back <laughs> you know what i'm saying like me and Spec go back, bro. I've been I've been a fan of he. I'm glad everybody else is kind of picking up. You know what I'm saying? And, Ditto. and noticing after Ditto. all this time after <laughs> after you know eight years. What is it? Uh, nah, thirteen years. Yep. For real. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Since I first grabbed this album in '05, it was just like I couldn't believe what I was hearing. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. He's he's phenomenal. If you haven't heard, uh, he's got a new project out, and and this ties in because I know everybody's like, "Man, huh? here we go!" Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah, we good. Speck got this album called Tracks, Christ, and Videotape, Volume One. Yeah, yeah. Every song on the album is concept, if you will, meaning he took a movie mm -hmm. and took the took a song from that movie and took the yeah. concept of that movie. And pointed at God with it. It's crazy. D Mob uh, was was invited to participate on Madagascar. Yes. Yes. And yes. and and not just that. And and y'all, some people are going, isn't that a movie? Yes, it's a movie. And but it's actually the name of the song as well. Right. Um, talk about that a little bit, if 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 you may. Yeah, that song, man. Uh, first of all, it's, it's an amazing song. It's an amazing album. Um, Spec is so creative. You know what I'm saying? When he first sent me the song and I heard the beat, and I was like, where is he going with this? What is this? What is this? And so I got the concept, you know, I listened to it and I was just, I was just blown away. And so, you know, that, that song is just talking about um, how people are living for material things. You know what I'm saying? But we're, we're, we're ending it by saying, you know, that Christ is really all you need. You know what I'm saying? You don't need, it's almost like the missing piece. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, yo, people are, people are uh, motivated by, you know, the thing that the tangible things of this world, but at the end of the day, they'll still have that void if they don't have Jesus. So it's a, it's a dope song, man. And a, and a dope, a dope album. Shout out to spec, man. For real. Absolutely. And, and I'll do one more thing. Yes. Since everybody is on that album, there's my first experience with, with him, taking something super mainstream mm -hmm. and flipping it. I was in the studio with him and he took the early version of the free credit report.com song. And <laughs> F to the R to the E to yeah, the free credit report.com song and pointed that pointed that joint at God. And God Lee, man, I said to him, how, who does that? Like, how do you, <laughs> who takes ran that's like you know i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the burger king commercial <laughs> and by the end of this song you, you know god is the king right <laughs> right right just, it just he does stuff, stuff man so if i can if i can really briefly shout out um uh a fellow uh station in the kingdom if you go to breathe life radio.com you guys click on that's store and there's a free album there called Evidence. It's a free download. It's called yeah. Evidence. I think it's a free download. If it's not a free download, I'm going to hit them up and see if we can get it free. Uh, it's called Evidence. That song's on there. It's the freecreditreport.com song. It's amazing. Definitely make sure that you also have Tracks Christ and Videotape Volume 1. Yes. Hit up iTunes and get yes. that Be Right single. My bad. It's yeah. actually a DMOS. No, no, no. I mean, hey, hey, I'm not offended at all. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> darn near his song. So <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The DMOS that, joint I like that song a lot, man. Um, let's do this. Then so let me say listen. this. Let me say I'm also, I'm also honored to have mixed some songs on the spec joint, the, trice, the, the Christ tracks and videotape. I mixed that, the you Madagascar that? joint. Uh, I mixed the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I mixed the um, the first single he dropped, the testimony, the clear sight yeah. music story. 20th mixed, century. Yeah, 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 20th century. I mixed that as well. I mixed I mixed like two or three on there. So, thanks, thanks, Beck, for allowing me to, to to mix on your on your joint, man. For real. 
So all the kingdom cats out there that's, you know, that's doing your thing, hit my boy, uh, D my, oh, he, he hit D mob up. The brother mixes, <laughs> Matt, you master as well, right? Or do you just mix? Correct. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> mixes and masters and, uh, the brother's rates are fair. Definitely. Um, yes, you have to pay him. Yeah. The Bible says your gift will make your way. Yeah. He has yeah. true and he has children. Yes. So. Yeah, help the brother take care of his children. That's showing um, that's showing the number of descendants and, and the wife and where the they came time. from. <laughs> All in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Um and 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 the fact, you know, when you include God, you can't you can't grasp without a thumb. So come on. So, come on, so, somebody. Four kids. Come on, come on somebody. Ring for 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 for, for the come wife, on. and then there's that thing you can't grasp. You about to have oh, me? Man. Don't make hey hey. Don't make me sing you no offering. Don't you start. <laughs> don't you start preaching on my interview. You hear me? <laughs> so so let's do this, man. Why don't we? Why don't we? Um, let's take the people into the album. Yeah. So we talked about that single. Yeah. Y'all go buy it. Hit up iTunes. Talk to me about a single off the album, mm -hmm. um, or sh I shouldn't say a single. Share share with the people. Let's talk about the concept of a different song off the album. Do okay. not disclose the feature because I'm telling you, we not. Uh uh, I don't want to talk about the features. We're talking about the right. and right. and talk about what God took you through for you to write that song. So give me the name of the song, talk about the concept of the song, and mm -hmm. and how did God birth that song via D-Mob's experiences? I can actually talk about a song that I released for one day, and that was New Year's Eve, a song called New Year's Eve. Um, <clears throat> and that song, man, is basically just raising awareness about the crime and the murder and the tragedy that happens in my city, you know. Um, and so... You know, just just on the outside looking in, you know, you might think like, man, Cincinnati is a great place. And it used to be, <laughs> I mean, I even say in in my in my verse, like, uh, um, you know, it used to be a city where you raise your kids. Now they aim at your head, raise your lid, you know. And it's it's really gotten to that point, you know, where, um, where it used to be a beautiful place, man. You could walk around, you could do, you know, you could you could be free as a bird. But, um, you know, I just wanted to raise awareness that not only my city, but every city has its its troubles, you know, and that we all need to be in prayer for our city because, uh, you know, we want better communities. We want better schools. But that stuff, it starts with prayer. It starts with, with believing God and then taking action. And so my action, um, besides the praying, was to do a song to in, to to engage other believers to to stand up for their city and to be active in their communities you know to to serve the homeless to you know to reach out to the lost and um hopefully with that you know the gospel will will um, go abroad man and and people will 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 see that God is real and that he's that he's uh you know that he's able to forgive and and that he's forgiving you know what I mean? So it's, it's a more, it's, it's that type of song is like, man, it's just raising awareness really with, with New Year's Eve. So it's a, it's a, but it's a banger though. Like you listen to it, you'll be like, what is, you know, this is a banger. But the message is, you know, trying to project you to realize the, the, the craziness that happens in all of our cities and that we need to be Got you. Got you. So who was, uh, we, you mentioned Tony Stone was, was, uh, on the on the buttons for the uh, B Rice song, who who well, uh, Tone Jones? Oh, I, what did I say? Tony Stone. Shout out Tony to the Stone. homie Tony Stone. Shout yeah, out shout to out the to homie the Tony homie. Stone. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. the homie, man. He that dude but, always. But he did that. not do that song. It yeah, he didn't Tony do that. Song. Jones, <laughs> <laughs> bad. Right, all right. Yeah, Tony who's Jones. He did that one. And okay, again, who's New the Year's producer Eve on the uh, New Year's Eve track? Yeah, 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 Tone Jones, same guy. Oh, both tracks. Yeah, he produced like I mean, the, even the next single. That that come even well, <laughs> wow. The next the next two singles, Tone Jones produced. So he produced like the first four singles. You he produced like seven tracks on my album. Majority wow. of my album. Yeah, he like that dude. 
when people get a load of him for real, it's gonna be over. Like he is, he is very talented, man. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a good dude too. You know what I mean? Love the Lord, loves his family, and uh, he, he he goes hard. Like he, you can tell when somebody produces a track and they and they give they all. Versus, let me just knock this beat out, and give it back, so I can get paid. And nah, he like he works as if he's working into the Lord. So. Shout out to my dude, Tone Jones. ToneJones.com. Jones with a Z, not an S. ToneJones.com. Hit that brother up, man. It's going to his ministry. He will bless you tremendously with a track. I'm telling you. No doubt. No doubt. Um, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Who in the industry, you've been around for a minute. Yeah. You started when you were uh, like eight years old. Um, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who in the industry would you like to work with mm -hmm. that you haven't worked with? I think Mally Music. I'd like to work with him. He's he's man, anointed, dope. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 a phenomenal artist, man. Um, I think uh, the truth. I like to work with the truth too, man. Um, and I think brother relationship with him, you know what I'm saying? Just building with him and, you know, he's, a, he's, 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 he's my dude, man. Um, we don't talk about him, but. I, I would, I would, okay. So digital music, there, there's no contact. Like it's not an album with a needle. Right. And I still will find a way to wear a groove into a song <laughs> that is D mob and Da truth. Those are my two favorite, uh, Wow. Favorite artist. You actually were blessed to sit at that table. Uh, yeah, at Flavor Fest. The song, the song, who, what, what's the song? Who Am I? I think it's called, where he talks about the conversation he had with uh, Trey Nine when we oh, were at yeah. Flavor Fest. Yeah, 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 I was there. Yeah, and I heard the song, and I remember, like, hey, I was sitting at that table. Sitting right um, there. And just amazing. The brother's heart for God, man, is just is just incredible, and how it just amazes me how he takes things that that he goes through and and, and flips them for the kingdom. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, to see him come out the other side of what he went through, you know, the big fall, as they say. Right, right. And how he came out the other side, and that that first album just like just phenomenal, man, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that that's. If there's anything I can do, who am I, right? Um, <laughs> to make that happen, yeah, D Mob and and Dot Truth on a song would be would be phenomenal. What uh, what do you have cause, with regard to the album? Mm -hmm. What do you have coming up? Um, what do you have coming up that you want the people to know about? Um, um, certainly the album. Do you have you got some yeah. tour stops coming up? You got what you got going on, man? Yeah, I have. Uh, we're, we're we're still booking dates for the um, excuse me, the um, the Soulmatic concert series. It's something that I want to do every year, and this year I'm promoting, of course, the Missing Piece with that with that tour. So I have a few dates, um, and people can find out the dates on my website, um, which is OneRouteEntertainment.com. Everything spelled out, and uh, check those dates. But I do have that coming up. Um, I'm thinking about doing some more. Some more ringtones, man. Some more crazy tones, brother. Are those are those still on the internet? Definitely. Brother? Yep. You can still go. I'll go find. You can definitely go to my website and get them. I, I, you know, you know, I still like my wife calls me, right? Yeah. And yeah. and you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When no my wife plays. calls, the the um, you know, my baby calling me that joint. That's a. Hey. We, I'm not. I stopped pulled out my phone and I was fitting it, fitting it like play it for y'all. But is it still in iTunes, family? It's well, the um, the the text tones is in iTunes. The ring tones aren't, but both are on my website. OneRouteEntertainment.com. Like Correct. he said, spell it all out. Don't abbreviate nothing. Right. Um, right. Hit up dictionary.com if you want to make sure <laughs> to spell all three of those correctly. Um, what? Some people can't spell. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Absolutely. Um, one one route entertainment dot com and yeah. download those joints. I'm telling you, you will yeah, have crazy. some ringtones on your phone that your Nobody phone will ring and people 
people will laugh and look and what is that? And they'll want to hear it. Yeah. Some funny stuff. Talk, share, share a couple. Matter of fact, so let that be, let that be, <laughs> let that be a little bit of freestyling from D Mob in this interview. Um, pick, pick a ringtone <laughs> and share it with the people, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll do that. Let me see, man. Uh, I think my one of my favorite ones is why my phone keep ringing. I freaking love that one because yes, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, <laughs> or call me after nine. My That's phone got one. swag. I mean, I could. Wow, <laughs> I'm sorry. I could. I could. Would I be wrong? You know what I'm saying? No, no. Do that one. Do what? <laughs> would I be wrong? Do what I? <laughs> That's the joint, right? All right, let me let me play that one real quick. Would I be wrong if I just let my phone ring? Ring, let my phone ring, let my let my phone ring. Nah. Would I be wrong if I just let my phone ring? Ring, let my phone ring till my voicemail pick up. Would I be wrong if I just let my phone ring? Ring, let my phone ring till my voicemail pick up. I don't feel like talking. 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 I don't, I don't feel like talking. Oh. Would I be wrong if I just let my phone ring? ring. <laughs> So 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 yeah, man. You got you got you got those, and then you got the text tones. You know what I'm saying? And and the text tones is uh, I I love oh yeah. And and, and I, I now see, work. I have to repent because I don't even have the text tones. Family. Oh what? Now those are on iTunes or on and, OS. And I will check them out. The reason I don't have, well, I don't say the reason. My phone when I get a text message, it goes, hey hey Kendrick, check your phone, man. Okay, and, and people, you know, yeah, no, no. they're it like, is, "Was that your phone?" <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. just having yeah, fun uh, with the technology. So you guys make sure to hit up oneroutentertainment.com. Go download those ringtones. I'm telling you, they are. Even if you end up not using them, I promise you. What? How much is the ringtones album? Uh, the ringtones is like I think I think they might be nine ninety nine or seven ninety nine or something like that. Okay. It's. I'm telling you, it's hilarious. You'll love it. And even if you don't plan on using it, I promise you, after you've listened through all those ringtones, I guarantee you, you will upload one of them and use them as the ringtone on your phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we, we're starting to run out of time here. So uh, the single on iTunes, what's the name of the single? It's called How Long with Be Right, featuring Be Right. And you want to go download that. The Definitely. album is Missing Piece. Uh, yep. I'm sorry. The Missing yeah. Piece. Yeah. yeah. P-E-A-C-E. The missing and when does it drop? May 21st. So get familiar. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Be ready. Get yeah. ready so you don't have to be ready. Amen. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, One Route Entertainment. Go download those uh, those uh, ringtones. Go down. Matter of fact, don't get the text tones off iTunes. Get them off his website. Yeah. Apple don't need to get a dollar for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm hating on Apple, so uh, uh, <laughs> they can take it. Uh, Apple is the right. devil. Yeah, I said it. Uh, <laughs> um, what else, man? So we talked about the album. We talked about, uh, uh, shout out to Spec. Shout out to Tone Jones for the dope Definitely. work that he's done on Definitely. on on the singles. Um, oh, I got to I gotta uh, make sure you hit up uh, the Google Play Store. Make sure you hit up uh, iTunes, and I know yes. that's backwards on your screen, but you know it, it can be it can be frontward on your phone. Okay, I'm I'm a dummy. I thought if I turned it upside down, wow. that it would suddenly be. I don't know. I'm it, it, I'm not it, the smartest. It would, it would, it, it would rotate. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not the I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hey, D-Mob, I appreciate you, man. Donnie, yeah, man. making all underestimators believers. Yeah, I love man. you, brother. Love you too, brother. Thank you so much for your time. You no guys, problem. this is Kindred uh, with uh, Jam the Video right here on jamthehype.com. You guys keep it locked. Make sure to go spend 99 cents. Get that app. It's, it, you can put it on, your, on your, your Android phone. You can put it on your iPad. You can put it on your iPad mini that I just hit myself in the head with on accident. You get, you get, hey. you get yeah, load that, load that mug that. up, man. And also, um, I just wanted to give a little um, shout out to my 
my networks where I'm where I'm definitely you have able to hit me at Twitter and Instagram is at D M A U B at D Mob. Hit me, hit me, nope. up, hit me up there. You know what I'm saying? And keep in touch. I'm With no Facebook. dashes, no dashes and no dots. D M A U B. No dashes, no dots. Yeah. Hit him up on Instagram. Hit him up on Twitter. Um, yes, sir. And I'll even put him on blast. You can find Donnie Harper yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, um, definitely. definitely. And I say that because this brother is like personable. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to yeah. ask him a question about a song, if you if something's on your heart to to just reach out to the brother, that's how we became friends, man. Is that is that yeah. the brothers, you know, just like really cool. Um thank you again, D Mob. Anything else you want to plug? Did I catch it all? No doubt you got it all, man. Did a did a great job, brother. All all glory <laughs> to God, man. Jam the video right here on jamthehop.com. Appreciate you hanging out, D Mob. Yes, sir. Holla. Automatic, this attic is causing havoc. I'm fiending, it might get tragic. Seeming like it's magic. How fakers disappear when I see them. I can grab it. Flow is crazy. Should be in the room that's padded. Don't be mad, it's only the beginning of a massacre. Didn't use wisdom to get out the way. Can't be mad at her. My teacher says she's a leader, so yes, I follow after her. Come through in a light of me, make you adjust your aperture. Been a minute, but yeah, I'm still in it. Never timid. Fight to the finish. I'm in the game. Quit hyping the scrimmage. I can do the impossible. My faith in fright is my limits. No limit. My master telling P to come get with the business. Cause the possibilities is endless. Dylan hope I threw my music aside. Society call me menace. If you broke, I pray what I say can help you spice up your image. Everything that I'm serving, it's all in love. <laughs> Tennis, delivery can make your facial expression grimace. Lyrical chemists connected from Cali back down to Memphis. Over to Atlanta where they stay flashy minus the cameras up to NY. When them killers know they live in the die, I gotta be a light on the mic. If you know me, then you know I am the type to live up to what I say till I die on the mic. I, I keep my eye on the mic. Take it out your hands if you high on the mic. All that show is how you truthfully lie on the mic. Liar. My goal is clearly not to bubble like I am a sprite. But if you shake me up, then I will explode like dynamite. Lend me your Ear. I'm not a biter like Iron Mike. Ouch. All I want to do is encourage because iron sharpens iron. Right? Right, right? Yes, I love my J-O-B. My J-O-B is to make sure that they know he if they know me but don't know thee. Oh. Living G-O-D, then I will slowly take myself out the frame. No need to proceed if I ain't ripping his name, right? right, right Prolific right. writer reciting only what I've written. Never hear me talk about things I'm getting. If I'm not getting everything I said, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> and that's real talk. I quit being effective. Respectfully, I will walk. Uh-huh. Cuddy, cuddy, always go, always go in, in. Yeah. Never, never follow the follow the trend, trend. No. Sorry, sorry, if I owe, if I owe, fin, fin. But if I but it might happen to happen again, again. I had to let the beat breathe. Yes, I'm a branch, but no, you can't get high off these trees. And I stay working, I always keep something up these sleeves. I present to you the flawless one, and he's the bee's knees. He came to save all the atoms and EVEs. And he got a plan for your life, all you gotta do is accept, confess, and believe. I keep my weapon on me, don't wanna step to these bees. Be for believers, weapon is my B-I-B-L-E. Now granted, I know I'm not the best on the planet. That's not my desire, desire, none of y'all see the fire. I'm tired of the bluffing, that only gets you expired. Been hired to make sure you stay on track with traction like tires. Trying to refresh in the game, most of y'all sounding the same. Yes, it's a bit of a shame but who am i to complain all these whack rappers to blame putting us through all of this pain since i got nothing to gain stay till i witness some change Jam the Hype, your source for positive hip-hop and R&B. Now on your smartphone or tablet, playing new music I from know. Boy, I lost it, I'm foolish, running off at the tulips. Probably wooing all the coolest, persecutors, the foes. Catch me. This song. Fresh up off that plane, touch down in my city. Get through around the world with this bird on my feet. Shake up. In the world, it's such a beautiful place. It's such a beautiful I know that we can make it. The truth. Since the night church got my eyes on the streets, we're looking at the world with the eyes. Heroes. Rose. On our smartphone app, you'll get 24 7 streaming radio, interviews, videos. Interact with other music fans and get live TV broadcasts covering positive hip hop and R&B events. Now on the Apple iOS Store and Google Play, Jam the Hype, changing lives with positive hip hop and R&B. Now on your smartphone or tablet, Jam the Hype, your positive hip hop and R&B channel.